Hello everyone. Welcome to the Science Talk at SMC. Many of us think that science is boring and scientists are geeks. Well, it is not true. You don't believe me? To make you believe, we have among us the very enthusiastic young researcher Dr. S. G. Srivatsan, who has recently received the 2019 CRSI Bronze Medal. He is a faculty at the Department of Chemistry, Iser Pune. So you are here at Iser Pune now, almost more than ten years. How is life being a faculty at this uh, prestigious institution? Is this something that you always wanted to become? I mean, uh, is this something that uh, a career by chance or by choice? Yeah, it's, first of all, it's a great feeling to be in uh, Iser as a faculty and then uh, uh, from the point of its inception in 2006 as you said i have been in isa pune for nearly 11 years now and uh, it gives a sense of ownership because uh, i have seen isa growing from the scratch and at this point i would like to appreciate uh, the efforts of uh, the founding director professor ganesh and the present director professor jayant udgankar and several other faculties who have made this institution prestigious the way it is now and uh, going to the second part of the question, I would say it is largely by choice mm. um, because when I started uh, my research career as a PhD student and within few years itself, I started to nurture myself as a uh, nurture myself to become a faculty of uh, uh, one of the in premier institutions in India. And for this, uh, uh, my mentors and supervisors were of great help. And uh, through them, I was able to understand as well as learn the nuances of becoming a faculty. And the important characters of a faculty which I see is that you have to be a good mentor and then you should be able to manage uh, your students and as well as I give uh, good importance to actually teaching, which is also a part of uh, uh, becoming a good uh, faculty as well as a researcher. In India, uh, parents often pressurize their uh, child to become either engineer or a doctor. So, did you ever feel that pressure too? Well, uh, I wouldn't totally accept at this point that you know nowadays the parents are pressurizing their kids to become an engineer, or a, 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 go into a medical profession. Now, I think you know uh, things are changing, and uh, the parents are actually motivating their uh, kids to take up what they like and what they are passionate about. You have received your PhD in chemistry, working on the design and synthesis of artificial nucleoside polymers. But as an independent researcher, what motivated you to transform into chemical biologist and to address the key biological questions? Well, I started as a chemist and then till my masters I was mainly concentrating on chemistry. But then uh, I wanted to take up the challenge of uh, pursuing a research career in interdisciplinary science. So I joined PhD in bioorganic chemistry with my supervisor, Professor Sandeep Verma and uh, in my PhD. I uh, designed and synthesized nucleoside, artificial nucleosides uh, for biocatalysis and then I started to evolve nucleic acid aptamers as well as catalysts and biosensors during my postdoctoral research. And essentially these expertise uh, laid the foundation of my independent research career where uh, my group is actually involved in developing biophysical platforms as well as chemical labeling technologies uh, to address important biological questions through chemistry and uh, what I would say is that uh, the basic motivation is probably my ego or uh, my group's ego and the confidence that chemists can design and synthesize any molecule of choice uh, which can be potentially implemented in addressing important biological uh, questions. Uh, you have recently received the CRSA bronze medal and you have also received the CDRI uh, award for excellence in drug research. So, how rewarding was this uh, two awards for you? Yes, uh, it is always a, a great feeling like uh, when uh, a society or somebody really appreciates our research. It could be through awards or through invitations uh, in conferences in India as well as abroad. It's a good feeling and also it uh, helps in motivating my students to take up uh, more complex as well as bigger problems. And uh, per se, we don't um, do our science for awards, but when it comes in the way, we take it 
uh, gladly and then move forward. Does recognition uh, change your mindset? Like, do you relax that, okay, now I have got recognition, then I can relax and not work very hard now? Yeah, as I said, yeah, so this is sort of a motivation to do bigger problems. And that's what my uh, message would be to my students as well as to myself, that they have recognized our research so far. And then that means they look for more potential from us and we wanted to embark on more uh, challenging scientific uh, problems. Can you just uh, tell us that, that what are the techniques that you use in your research, like the analytical techniques? Yes, since our uh, research interest is multidisciplinary and the projects are highly multidisciplinary, uh, we uh, use tools from chemistry, mm. analytical tools, any of the analytical tools from chemistry, biophysics, molecular biology and cell biology. And more recently, we have uh, embarked on uh, uh, analytical tools which help us in material character characterization. So all the techniques that you use are available at ISA Pune or you collaborate with other groups? See, our group is not self-sufficient. So either we uh, collaborate or we use uh, uh, other resources. I would say not just from uh, ISA Pune. Uh, we use resources throughout the world to get our data or, you know, uh, to analyze our samples. So, as you said that uh, your group is not yet self-sufficient, is it difficult to work with the limited resources here in India in this, uh, in the interface of biology and chemistry? Sure, it is going to be a challenge. It's always a challenge with uh, when you're not self-sufficient and uh, you're never going to be self-sufficient in Indian context because, you know, uh, when you're doing interdisciplinary research which is interfacing between chemistry, biology and material. Mm -hmm. Uh, no group is going to have that kind of a luxury to have all the uh, facilities at your hand. So, uh, uh, two things are very important. You should be uh, patient enough to get things done uh, through collaboration as well as, you know, from uh, outside resources. That's very important. And then uh, the thing is that, um, uh, as I said, it takes a little longer time and the students have to be patient enough to learn new things as well as implement them. Okay. Okay, we'll uh, ask you some rapid questions. You can answer either with one sentence or two sentences. Sure. Citation? Citations are good. Paid journals? I pay. Nobel Prize? It's an honor. Conference? Informative. Book chapter? Very elaborate. If given a ch second chance, what career you will choose? Uh, when I was doing my bachelor's, I wanted to, after my bachelor's, I wanted to join Army and especially Air Force. Okay. Uh, and because I was in NCC, I wanted to join that one. Okay. But then I got master's uh, in chemistry in IIT Madras. So my parents said you should go for this. So Army will say? Army or Air Force. Okay. So which one is more fun, being a student or being a teacher? So student is great. Okay. Teacher is also, uh, I wouldn't say great, but then not bad. Okay. That's because, you know, uh, the teacher's life is like this. So, uh, although you grow older, you're going to always have new students who are younger students and you feel young at heart, probably not physically, but then young at heart. Good. Then uh, one school teacher that you remember the most? Just I would say two. So one was um, a mathematics teacher. Her name is uh, Tripura Sundari and then another one was uh, a chemistry teacher. His name is uh, Gauri Shankar. Uh, any funny incident that has happened to you after you become a faculty? A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of funny incidents have happened. Uh, we would like to celebrate uh, each and every success or small success. It doesn't matter which faculty or something like that. Our chemistry department, like, you know, it's quite vibrant. Do you have any retirement plan? I know, I don't have. I don't okay. even think about it. Which one is uh, better for holiday destination, Goa or Himachal? Goa would be okay. the best one. Your hobbies other than science? Sports. Okay. I do a uh, reasonably a lot of sports. Let's get back to some serious questions again. Okay. How will you brief about your research to a person who is not from science background? Very recently, I think a year ago or something like that, so uh, the science media uh, made a short video of our research, uh, uh, which titles as Tags Go Smart, or you can search Srivatsan G quadruplex. But then uh, if I have to uh, elaborate on our research to a layman, I would say this one. See, if, for example, you consider a CCTV camera and CCTV camera can be considered as a probe and then you have to position that particular probe or CCTV camera at a certain part of a room so that you can get a holistic view of the room as well as what is happening in, in the room. Same way we also develop probes 
and we call it as a conformation sensitive probe or we can also say it as an environment sensitive probe. And uh, we also develop alongside how to label this probe. Like you know as I said CCTV camera you have to place it at a certain position. Uh, you need a way to position it also right. Same way we develop labeling technologies to incorporate or place our probes in a nucleic acid sequence and then we study the geometry of nucleic acid and how it interacts with small molecules or drug molecules and how it functions in real system. Using our probes actually we can get information about nucleic acid geometry, its uh, function and as, as well as its interaction with small molecules or drug like molecules in real time you can do it and as well as you can do it in atomistic level and also in native cellular environment or a real cellular environment. So, when you take a student, what do you see in a student? Like what do you think a student needs to you know succeed in their research career? Uh, I would like to start from uh, my first interview which happened way back in 2009, okay. When we were interviewing, that time ISA was very new, we did not have the labs and then we were recruiting students. Any student who would say that I know nucleic side, okay. which is part of a nucleic acid, mm -hmm. we would take them. But then now since ICER has grown and then uh, uh, we are working on more complex issues or more, more complex problems, uh, I usually want my student or the student who is going to join my group uh, should be very curious, okay, should be motivated to do uh, advanced research and most importantly he or she should be interested or highly motivated to learn new things. And these are some yes no questions, uh, you can just say yes or no, that is it. You are a foodie? Yes. People often compare chemistry to cooking, are this the same? I feel so. Okay. Are you a bookworm? No. Marks you will give to Indian education system out of 10? 7. Uh, do you love to watch uh, old Indian cinema? Sure, I do watch. Okay. Does research becomes boring sometimes? Once in a while it gets boring actually. Uh, do you think you know enough about your native place Madras? Not necessarily. You are the chairman of uh, ISO sports committee. So, do you also play sports or uh, you do not play anything, you are just the chairman? No, no, <laughs> no uh, so they, I think they, they see me lot, a lot of time in the ground, that is why I think they have made me as the chairman of the sports committee. So, I do sports also and then um, I interact a lot with the students to uh, organize events and this year actually we are organizing inter ISA sports meet uh, this year and then we are going to have uh, 10 different institutions. And uh, the science media center at ISA Pune is trying to communicate science and popularize science. Mm -hmm. So do you have any advice for us that how can we do it better? Sure, uh, so one thing which I see in uh, schools I would say, so when I have visited uh, during some of the outreach programs and as well as when new students come to ICER and then when I see them during the practical courses, I see that um, several of our schools actually, uh, 10 plus uh, to grade, uh, 12th grade, uh, they do not have uh, good laboratories and then so they do not have the opportunity to learn science concept through hands on training as well as uh, do, by doing experiments, seeing and learning, that process is not there. So, if uh, science media can come up with uh, uh, videos of uh, simple and good experiments which would convey scientific concept and also link it with the real life examples then it will be great. So, that uh, I think uh, many of our uh, school students would uh, get benefited by this. Thank you Dr. Srivastan, uh, you are a wonderful human being as well as scientist and uh, thank you for your time. Once again I would like to thank uh, ISA science media. Uh, for inviting me and also I appreciate the new initiative of you know interviewing um, uh, faculties and then um, sharing their experience and that is a great initiative and uh, I wish good luck uh, to the science media. Thank you sir. Yeah.